faster than anyone else. Can you please go for the glory? Go for the glory. Everyone say, go for the glory. Go for the glory. Go for the glory. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Give her a big round of applause, though, you guys. Fantastic work. That is a lollipop to place in front of your toes. And that reminds me, you guys, if you have lollipops from before the break that are under your chairs, now's a good time to reach under your seats, place them back in front of your toes, you guys. It's great when I see the lollipops way out in front of your toes. Now, like I said, the men who signed this declaration were signing their own death warrant practically. Quote to Benjamin Franklin, we must hang together now or we will certainly hang separately. Later. Right, because the King of England is going to search these men out. But they were willing to sacrifice whatever it took, and there were men and women who were willing to sacrifice a lot to help support this revolution. They gave up their, well, their possessions. Some lost family members. Others became spies. Others gave the ultimate sacrifice of their own life for the American Revolution. These are heroes of the revolution, you guys. Let's bring up some heroes <coughs> of the revolution now. Mary Draper, come on down. Nathan Hale. Come on down. Let's have Nancy Morgan Hart come on down. And Lydia Dura come on down as well. So I'm calling up four of you guys right now. How about a big round of applause for these four heroes of the Declaration of the Revolution, you guys? Go ahead and take it away, Mary Draper. Hello, my name is Mary Draper. I wanted to help the colonists in the revolution, but I had very few skills in fighting. So I decided to help by melting all of my family heirlooms. They're pewter items and made wonderful bullets for the colonists. I know my things are important to me, but so are the freedoms in which we are fighting for. Great job, Mary Draper. You got some pewter items there. All right, those might those might make wonderful bullets. Give her a big round of applause, you guys. Fantastic work, Mary Draper. That's going to be 50. Well, actually, that accent you were doing was phenomenal. I'm going to give her some super acting points, too, you guys. It's going to be 55 points. 55 points goes to the White Tories! Ha! Ha! Go ahead and take it away, Nathan Hale. Hello, my name is Nathan Hale. I was born in Connecticut. I was athletic, intelligent, religious, and kind. I graduated from Yale at the age of 18. As a captain in the Continental Army, I volunteered to go by the enemy lines as a school teacher to spy on the British. As captain, and on September 22, 1776, at 21 years old, I was executed. Courageous to the end, I said, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. How about a big round of applause for Nathan Hale? You gotta take Nathan Hale away. He's a spy. Great job spying on those red coats. Nathan Hale's being so brave, you're gonna get 50 points. 50 points goes to the Blue Rebels! Ha! Ha! Hello, my name is Lydia Duroff. British troops were having a meeting in my home when I overheard their plans of an attack the next day at White Marsh, Pennsylvania. The next morning, I will pretend to go get flour, cross the British lines, and warn the American troops about the surprise attack. When the British arrive, the Continental Army will be ready for battle and defeat the Redcoats. Fabulous work there, Lydia Dura. What do you have there? That's not flour at all. Is that those, those secrets? Secrets for the Continental Army. Lydia Dura, that is fantastic work. I really like that accent you were doing too, Lydia. I'm going to give you those extra five acting points. You're going to get 55 points, but your team 55 points goes to... The Blue Rebels! Ha! 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 Hello. My name is Nancy Morgan Hutt, and I have fought battles of the revolution at my own house. Five Tories came to my home, demanding a meal. I tricked them by giving them cups. By giving them what? Cups. Drinks, drinks. Drinks. Ah. I mean, and? And started taking their muskets. <laughs> When they figured, when they discovered my plan, I held them at a 
at gunplay. I sent my dad away to get help to take away my prisoners. Help! Give Nancy Morgan Hart a big round of applause, you guys. Great job, Nancy Morgan Hart. Fantastic. Well, let's make sure these muskets end up back in the musket box. Go ahead back to your seats, you guys. Fantastic. It's not easy to get all these Tories up here to help you out with your card, you guys. She had half her team up here. It looks like even more than that. For all of that hard work, Nancy Morgan Hart, you are going to get 50 points. 50 points goes to... The White Tory! Ha! Ha! Fantastic work, Nancy Morgan Hart. Now, Washington also had many struggles of his own. See, he had driven the British out of Boston, but they had taken New York, so he was forced to retreat to New Jersey. After months of fighting, he lost nearly 3,000 men. If he didn't win a battle soon, he would be forced to accept defeat. So he planned a daring attack on Christmas night, and that led to the Battle of Trenton. We're going to see the Battle of Trenton now, so go ahead and start getting